Why, in my world, cats and rabbits would reside in fancy little houses and be dressed in shoes and hats and trousers. In a world of my own, all the flowers would have very extra special powers. They would sit and talk to me for hours when I'm lonely in a world of my own. There'd be new birds, lots of nice and friendly howdy-do birds. Everyone would have a dozen bluebirds within that world of my own. I could listen to a babbling brook and hear a song that I could understand. I keep wishing it could be that way because my world would be a On the sea, shining with all its might. He did his very best to make the billow smooth and bright. And this was odd because it was the middle of the night. Walrus and the carpenter were walking close at hand. The beach was wide from side to side, but much too full of sand. Mr. Walrus, said the carpenter, my brain begins to perk. We'll sweep this clear in half a year, if you don't mind the work. Well, the time has come, the walrus said, to talk of other things, of shoes and ships and sealing wax and cabbages and kings, and why the sea is boiling hot and whether pigs have wings. Kalu Kale, no work today. We're cabbages and kings. But Mother Oyster winked her eye and shook her heavy head. She knew too well this was no time to leave her oyster bed. The sea is nice. Take my advice and stay right here. Mum said. Ah, oh, the time has come, my little friends, to talk of other things. Of shoes and ships and sealing wax, cabbages and kings, and why the sea is boiling hot. And uh, whether pigs have wings, <laughs> Kalu Kale come run away, where the cabbages and the kings. Come, my little friends, to talk of food and things, of peppercorns and mustard seed and other seasonings. We'll mix them all together in a sauce that's fit for kings. Kalu Kalai will eat today like cabbages. 